Look at this. Look at the depleted aisle. Holy smolies. Hardly any meat. Just an utter mess. I just can't believe it. <laughs> this is an embarrassment. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but what are you going to do? You can't cry. It's just crazy, but this is nuts. That is nuts right there. They actually have this on the shelf. That's a shame. I mean, it's just a mess. More empty shelves all the time. Every time I come to Walmart. Oh, here's the uh, the sugar aisle. Uh, <laughs> everybody's going after the sugar. I just have to show you the, the the mess here. Look at this. You know, this is just. I think somebody wrote something in here. Oh, I love something. <laughs> but uh, uh, your typical mess. Let's look at this. I. I I, I know it's not shopping and looking at prices, but this is what you see here. And so somebody just puts this down because the flour, somebody spilled flour here and then sugar over there. It's just the best. Come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's just a shame, isn't it? Well, I tell you, it's a Sunday afternoon, and uh, I gotta get something to Walmart. So let's head in. Let's check the aisles. Let's have some fun. They did raise the price of the tomatoes to a dollar ninety-eight. That's right, because that's what I paid last time. They were ninety-eight cents when I got to the counter. They were a dollar ninety-eight, and that's why they added a dollar to it. <laughs> that's why. Holy smolies inflation now they have a whole bunch of corn in these roma tomatoes but i noticed that they were a dollar 48 and they've got a ton of them and they have a ton of corn and i don't know what the price is but it comes from uh Clewiston, florida looks nice my parent would love those but look at all the tomatoes lots of lettuce but it's a dollar 98 for a head of lettuce and their baked potatoes are 98 cents they look good but 98 cents a pound sweet potatoes the same thing and here's their depleted meat uh, counter here <laughs> it's just all depleted and you know it just doesn't even look very red does it it just doesn't look red and um, how many people actually buy buy the beef and it looks it's bloody here who buys the beef in a, in a, in a little round tube like that I mean I don't oh look at this there's this look at this look at this Tell me something, would you actually buy this? It's already expired 2.5. And look at that, 2.9, 2.5. It says 2.6, then 2.5. Does any, do I hear 2.4? <laughs> but it's just depleted this whole area of meat. Just wiped right out. Just ridiculous. It's just, here's a filet, $11. Oh, I don't know if I'd buy any of this. But look at this. This is just sad, isn't it? This is what's happening. This is our economy. This is what uh, everything looks like here. This is what you get. And how much are the chicken wings? Three eighteen a pound. And um, it just it just looks destroyed here today. Organic chicken thighs. How much are they? Five seventy eight a pound. Five sixty four. Ground turkey, six twenty-two a pound for ground turkey breast. Ground turkey breast, six twenty-two. Holy cow! Ground turkey breast, six twenty-two a pound. Holy smolies! Just an utter mess. I just can't believe it. <laughs> this is an embarrassment. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but what are you gonna do? You can't cry. It's just crazy, but this is nuts. That is nuts right there. They actually have this on the shelf. That's a shame. That's a shame, I mean. Uh, and, and look at all the good packaged meat that's actually good. Nobody wants it because of the prices. See the prices, 628 a pound, 748 for, looks like two pounds of that. Come on, ridiculous. There it is, what a mess. Look at this. Depleted aisle. Holy smolies. Hardly any meat. Look, look at the shelves here. They're, they're just, the lights don't even turn on anymore. <laughs> it's just the best. It's just, it's just the best and the lights don't even turn on. I don't know why. 
and here's their pasta aisle. It's been obliterated here. I can't believe people are buying Barilla for it's a dollar eighty-four now. It went down a little bit. Remember, it was a dollar ninety-nine. It went down a little bit, but this is this is ninety-eight cents for this, which this is what I like. That's the way to buy it. Ninety-eight cents for that. That's a good price. But the spaghetti, I mean, it, this is affordable food, and that's why people buy it. They just don't buy this stuff. <laughs> it's full. It's just full. All the expensive stuff. Rayos. That's someone told me that's how you pronounce it. Rayo. In, in the potato chip, the popcorn aisle here. It looks like nobody likes pork rinds. <laughs> you and nobody likes the cheap tortilla chips for a dollar eighty-two, and they're just not selling. They're, this off-brand stuff just isn't selling, and it's not cheap. Great value, three forty-eight for that off-brand, and it's not even selling. Wow, three twelve for an off-brand. Oh, that's too high. But this this has been obliterated here, and <laughs> picked over, picked over. It's not even the Super Bowl yet. That's next weekend. And look at the chip aisle. You can tell people love the Doritos. You can tell people love the Doritos. Three ninety eight though for Cool Ranch and in the spicy nacho. Three ninety eight, four ninety eight for the party size. This is all super high priced. Nothing's coming down. What a, what a, what a mess here. Just a mess. I mean, come on. Oh, why is it like this? Oh my gosh. Here's, here's the cracker aisle and, and oh, well, it looks like the crackers have cracked. <laughs> just, just mistreated, aren't they? Just more empty, depleted shelves. I mean, look what's hanging. Look, look what's hanging there. I mean, come on. Just a mess here. No one wants those cookies there at all. <laughs> but all, all of these expensive cookies that I consider expensive, which they are, they've been eating them. They've been nailing the Oreos. My gosh, people are buying Oreos. Holy cow! Well, you have no choice if you want cookies, right? But look at, look at the mess here. Jeez. I showed everybody the cans of the soup last time I was here. Well, look at, they're still here and nobody still wants them. <laughs> nobody wants this stuff. It's too expensive. It's too salty. No one's going to buy this. Just put it in the back. Now, I was trying to find some Twizzlers because I had a couple that were in the, the little candy tray at work and they tasted delicious, but they're $2.98 for this little tiny container right here. 16 ounces and I said, that's ridiculous. Then, and 14.9 cents per ounce for the big bag. Five dollars for this big bag. And, and I think that's crazy. 2.98, I remember they used to be a dollar 98 and they're 2.98 now for Twizzlers. Come on, it's ridiculous. And what are these filled Twizzlers here now? They're sweet and sour. And it's 11 ounces for 2.98. It's all a ripoff. still inflation. I always have to laugh at Walmart how messy everything is. It a dollar eighty-four for the great value brand, but still how messy everything is, Jeff. Six seventy-eight. Six seventy-eight. Seven thirty-two. Eleven ninety-seven for, for for these little ones. And this is the same price for the bigger ones at Sam's. And um, everything is just such a mess here. I, I mean it, I just you can't get away from it. Look at the mess here that they have 568 for this little thing it's just a pigsty <laughs> hate to say it but you know it just is a mess i mean how do you find anything here this is this is their their cones and toppings area and it and it's just a mess just a complete mess just a mess hot fudge this isn't too bad right hershey's hot fudge dollar 98 that's not too bad you know in caramel i i like this i'm an ice cream guy so i like that here's the, here's their coffee aisle everybody goes for the cheap folgers you can see because it's picked over this cafe uh bustello i don't know if i pronounce any of this stuff right just a mess look at the messes here just walmart they don't care about anything except pushing the blue card around and filling the online orders you can see it right here, just a pigsty. And here's their their little Twinkies and and their uh, crispy, crispy creams. And you can tell which bread sells and which one doesn't here. 
in the nature zone my wife's favorite 313 i actually believe that this came down in price because this used to be a lot higher i know at Publix it's it's over four dollars for one of them so it actually came down in price i'm impressed it's really good bread nature zone wonder bread um 272 it doesn't look to be as popular as the nature's own butter bread more more messy aisles look at look at how this is it's just a pigsty with the gatorade you can't tell what was anything but a dollar 47 gatorade has not come down in price not at all dollar 47 price still holding strong everything is holding strong 748 for this type of gatorade this is crazy this is double of what it was two two years ago check this mess out <laughs> look at look at how it's just picked over just a mess look at this nobody cares just what a mess you know this is my favorite messy aisle the bleach aisle it, and look at there it is and the bleach is still holding its price 752 for bleach Nothing's coming down. 1347. Holy smolies. <laughs> but 798 still. Here it is. 798 for the Clorox bleach. Not coming down. And here's your typical messy aisle. Look at this. Look at this mess. Look at how can you even find anything here? Just picked over. Just picked over. And people are actually buying these wipes. Look at look at the look at the mess here God, well it's not messy here it's missing <laughs> just crazy and uh, where's my favorite bleach that's 98 cents right here this is all I buy 98 cents for this bleach 242 for for this and then if you buy Clorox 488 240 224 98 cents that's what I buy all the time it's just bleach and water with a little bit of I don't know some kind of fresh scent in it but a mess and here just going across the aisle here you can tell what sells and what doesn't and those don't sell the swifters in, in this aisle here are the plungers <laughs> what, a, what a mess look at it just crazy look at oh there's the teddy bear and let's we're gonna go the other aisle and I know that's a mess too look at this pathetic what a mess Let's go down here. This is always a disaster, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this. It's just... I, I, I'm almost without words, but... <laughs> what a mess. Just a stinking mess here. My gosh. Empty shells. So typical. What's going on? I mean... It's just a mess. More empty shells all the time. Every time I come to Walmart. Oh, here's the uh, the sugar aisle. Uh, <laughs> everybody's going after the sugar. I just have to show you the, the the mess here. Look at this. You know, this is just. I think somebody wrote something in here. Oh, I love something. <laughs> but uh, uh, your typical mess. Let's look at this. I I I know it's not shopping and looking at prices, but this is what you see here. And so somebody just puts this down because the flour somebody spilled flour here and then sugar over there but it just just a Walmart mess <laughs> the vinegar it's really a popular item and the canola oils picked off the shelves you can see that and and it looks like the olive oil over here has been somewhat depleted probably just the affordable stuff now their milk is staying the same 306 a gallon for their milk so that's a pretty good price I like that I like that, $1.83 for the half gallon. But 306 for the milk is pretty good. This aisle, aisle is always depleted of orange juice and any type of juice drink. And we're heading into the eggs, my happy eggs. Where are the eggs? I think the prices have started to come down a little. 567 if you want to call that a little, for, for a dozen brown eggs. 384 for the large, they have come down. Look at that. Oh, it's a bargain now. Three eighty-four for a dozen white eggs. I'm impressed. And, and remember, last week these were fourteen dollars. They're eleven thirty-two for the two eighteen packs. They have came down. They have come down. But you can see some of the 
look at look at the uh, the empty shelves. You're still in in the mess. Seven ninety eight for what? I don't think that's right. Four eighty eight for the jumbos, but still four eighty eight for a dozen eggs is white eggs is ridiculous. Four thirty seven. That's still double of what it was a couple years ago. But what a mess, isn't it? Look look at the mess here. Just typical that you'd find. Look at look at the broken eggs right there. Here's all their bacon. Four ninety eight a pound. Six fifty three. Eight eight ninety two. Eight ninety two. Eight ninety eight. Three ninety eight for the cheap stuff. Four twelve. Four ninety eight. Four twenty four for this. Oh geez, great value. Four twenty four. Amazing. In, in turkey bacon. Remember this used to be two dollars. Three dollars and ninety-eight cents for turkey bacon. What are you gonna do? This stuff here, three ninety-eight, just for this twelve ounces, and it's half fat. I mean, even their camping aisle here is just a mess with no inventory. Just, just nothing here. It, look at, look at how this is. And these are some of their chairs. What, what happened to this place? It, it's just a mess. Everything. Look at this. It's a mess. Then you look on the other side of the aisle, their fishing area. It's it's just a mess. <laughs> I, I don't get it. But empty shelves. This is look at this is the uh, the fishing uh, like tackle boxes soft side. Nothing there. Whatever was here. This is just a hodgepodge of nothing. And every, everywhere you look, you just see a hodgepodge of nothing and empty shelves. Here is their uh, their bait cooler where they keep stuff. Uh, shucked clams, sand fleas, and rigged ballyhoe, and and just take a look and see. Let's see how full it is. Oh, not too full, right? <laughs> and here's here's their tarp area. Some of their fishing supplies, very depleted. Just completely depleted. This is their BB gun aisle. Depleted. All the, all this stuff is just empty shelves everywhere you look. Yeah, that's just sad right here. Here is their very messy cooler aisle. How could you even find anything here? And, and there's hardly any stock left. And this is the middle of winter. Who really needs a cooler in the middle of winter? But, oh, here, here they have some paddles in stock. Plastic, cheap plastic paddles for $13. That's what they have here. But other than that, whatever was here is not anymore. Mattresses. It seems like mattresses and pillows are being depleted. What do you think's happening? I'll let you guys come up with that. But whatever is here is not. The golf section. Some of the camping supplies and backpacks. Just a mess. Just a mess. And missing so much stock just now. Here's their cooler. Hand co or the little coolers here, personal coolers, and their basketball aisle. And check it out. <laughs> it's you know, you can't laugh, but, well, yeah, you can. It's just, it's just funny. Look at this mess here. There's the nice footballs. I like those. You know, the Super Bowl's coming up. But the, the mess here that they have. Come on, doesn't anybody care? It's just sad, isn't it? Nothing's in order. And this is their hardware department right here. Here, if you need some sandpaper, you've got two choices. Right, right there. And um, scrapers, turpentine, your buckets there. And uh, oh, if you need a paintbrush, they've got a great selection. They've got right there. <laughs> There's your paintbrushes. And here, here's another aisle for you in the hardware department that's depleted. So, oh, if you need a paint tray, they've got one here. Oh, it looks like they're on top of stuff here. <laughs> Holy cow! I tell you, just amazing, isn't it? just amazing well it's valentine's day and i just i just had to show everybody the aisle where the teddy bears are <laughs> you have to see this look at this this is hilarious <laughs> they're just strewn about how could you ever tell what anything is for a price what a mess look at look at this aisle <laughs> this is hilarious look at this aisle can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's just the best. Come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
that's just a shame, isn't it? I noticed something right here. Uh, fifty dollars for a stuffed animal. Would anybody pay fifty dollars for a for a stuffed animal? I mean, come on. You know where they're made. I mean, it's just cheap, but fifty, fifty dollars. Ridiculous. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show, and I know it's a little messy here, but what are you going to do? So give me a thumbs up for like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.